Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're taking a look at um, Ted vs. Paddington. So uh, this is a battle of the bears. Um, when it comes to these two characters, I know a decent amount about Ted because I've seen the first, I've seen both movies. Um, when it comes to Paddington, I've seen the first movie. I haven't seen the second one, um, and I've haven't read the book or watched any of the cartoons or anything. So I don't know everything about Paddington. So if there's any bars, you guys let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully you are too. If you guys go on to enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you don't enjoy it, leave a dislike on it. Comment down below what we react to next. I'll react to anything as long as it's not going to get me copyright striked or anything like that. Um, anyway, that uh, that's the end of the intro. Hopefully this song is a banger. Let's go. Here we go. Bonus battle. Okay, here we go. Ted mm -hmm. versus yeah. I'm Paddington. Pardon my manners or rather the lack of them. Cause I'll battle McFarlane's abandoned comradaton. It's tragic. I've never heard a TED talk so horny. Trying to get his woody buzz like sex toy story. You're a <laughs> Okay. Trying to get his woody buzz like sex toy story. That's a good double on time. Do I say Woody obviously from Toy Story? Um, the cowboy. And then Woody has like a hard on uh Woody sex toy, obviously. Toy Story. That's a good bar there, so I'll put it like that. Let's keep going. And talking profit, dropping plus version of Chucky. Your friend got lucky with the girl until you stole her thunder, buddy. And I'm sorry, but True. why does this bitch spend hours slacking? Had his prime in shooting stardom, now he's known as Hasbro's husband. I'd call you. Oh, okay. So back a bit, back a bit, back a bit. So he brought up that um, his owner had a girlfriend and that he lost his girlfriend because of Ted, which is true. Let's keep going there. So th this guy was from bars to start off with. Sorry, but why does this bitch spend hours slacking? Had his prime in shooting stardom, now he's known as Hasbro's husband. I'd call you washed up, but that odor has power. I'm certain that sperm bank was the last time you showered. Think his creeper started sk- <laughs> uh, That's funny. The sperm bank was the last time you showered, that's very funny. I'm certain that sperm bank was the last time you showered. Think his creeper started scheming till he came up with the deep plan. Till you needed Freeman to help you become a free man. You left the theater- Oh, okay. That's funny. Again, another reference to the movies. Uh, Morgan Freeman is the lawyer in the second Ted movie that makes him become a, like a man or like a free man or whatever. So it's like you need a free man to become a free man. That's fucking that. That's a bar right there, dude. The wordplay is actually like really good. Yes. Freeman to help you become a free man. You left the theaters walking out like John after all your tricks. Looks like your friend Wahlberg isn't the only mark you missed. Oh, oh, oh scary funny so mark Wahlberg obviously is the actor who plays the uh human in that movie um so mark Wahlberg and mark is like because the second movie wasn't that good uh, i didn't enjoy it uh so it's like it's like you meet this the mark on the second movie you know and then mark you miss that's that's pretty that's a pretty good line there here we go now it's time for ted The only mark you missed. Oh, 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 scary! A Peruvian tourist got me quaking even harder than your whole damn rainforest. Suck oh, that's a low blow right there. So if you don't know, in the first movie or in the Paddington story, his forest gets like destroyed, right? So it's like you know, halt shaken because the whole thing got destroyed. Yeah. Anyway. Harder than your whole damn rainforest. Suck my cock, you stupid bitch. You're getting bare humped. On the clock, I'm screwing chicks. You're screwing haircuts. I gotta say, we're okay. not the same. I'm teaching you the Boston way. You getting marmalade? I'm getting your marmalade. The trial of <laughs> That's funny. You getting marmalade? I'm getting your marmalade. Oh damn. That's funny. So if you don't, again, if you don't know, it's a reference to Paddington where he loves marmalade. Um, and obviously, marmalade is obvious. Man, this is actually really good. I like this. Cuts. I gotta say, we're not the same. I'm teaching you the Boston way. You getting marmalade? I'm getting you marmalade. The trial of yours gave you like no chance of winning. If that was a law and order case, it would take less than five minutes. Did you hear the museum across the town's returning? I'll have Sam call the taxi for me to see a taxidermist. You're dragging on your ass if not with all the jokes you're cracking. I thought it was my name, but my, your stuff with tons of padding. And your broken promise. Wait, what was that? I think I missed the, I think I missed the bar there. Jokes you're cracking. I thought it was my name, but my your stuff with tons of padding. And you bro Oh, I thought it was my name, but then you stuck with tons of padding. So padding is like, okay, so... 
I think that's a reference to how like Paddington is an actual bear when Ted is a, a substance animal, right? Obviously. Broken promises are making Tommy Lynn cry because you just don't have the balls to be a family guy. Your cat's making. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Have balls to be a family guy. I'm trying to think. That's a reference to something, right? Isn't Ted voiced by Seth MacFarlane, the guy who made Family Guy? I might be wrong about that. Um, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, I think that's what I'm referencing Ned, but I don't know. Let's keep going, out anyway. Padding and your broken promises are making Tommy Lynn cry because you just don't have the balls to be a family guy. Your gags make me gag. That drawn out shock is poppycock. You're not a real comedy. What? Clearly, you're a comic con. Now, this show has been fun, but Builder Bear okay. will be upset when they find out one of their toys put their best friend on their deathbed. Shut your trap, you orphan. You know I rake and bank. I don't need 107 ways to say I make it rain. Your name's a train station, but my fool will drown you on this track. Dog, a Paddington's a great name for a fucking tampon. Your famous log girl. Okay. This will be a swan song. This ticket must be on. Part of walking, talking, strong ball. I stay dope, harvesting funds like it's no trouble. Cause I've been smoking trees since trees were smoking your uncle. Thought your family forgot you all the look on your face. Look who do you think they are? The whole world after three days. I'm no hooker on the floor, but I'm putting brown down. Now I gotta work the register. Good thing I left you cashed out. <laughs> you bastard. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Oh my god, uh, that was good. that was an interesting battle right there. Um, who won? I'm gonna have to give it to, even though I enjoyed Ted's like flow a little bit more. I might have to give it to Paddington in that one. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Paddington in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you disagree, you disagree. Um, if you don't, you know who knows. But if you enjoy the reaction, don't forget to slap that like button. If you don't, didn't enjoy the reaction, slap the dislike button and tell me why you didn't enjoy it. Also, subscribe. I mean, comment down below what you want me to do next. Um, also, uh, thank you guys for hit, helping me hit 200 subscribers for my birthday again. We smashed it. We're at 229, I believe now, which is amazing. Like, we, we were smashing goals here, and I, I appreciate you guys for that. Anyway, this is the end of the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See you.